So in this video, I'll try to be brief and explain why I believe everyone else is ill, even though I'm poisoned, I'm fumed, and harassed every day, why they're trying to drive me crazy. Okay, it has a lot to do with discipline and determination. You know, someone who's very strong, for example, if he stops working out, doesn't become weak overnight. So someone on the right path who has a lot of discipline and determination and willpower like me doesn't become crazy and unfocused overnight. Other people are very similar to cartoons or something in their kind of crazy life. And some of them um, are, do a better job of pretending to be disciplined and mature than others. And that's part of the game that they're playing. So let's talk about the LGBT community first, uh, kind of briefly. Okay, um, again, I, I think everyone else has something wrong with them. And gays are no exception to the rule. They just happen to have, in, in order to influence over things, Hollywood, fashion, uh, IT, you look at San Francisco, Silicon Valley, San Francisco Bay Area is called that for a reason. It's a gay stronghold, which means tech, uh, tech people are disproportionately gay. And they network better than other people. You know, and that's why uh, Hollywood is run, run disproportionately by gays, perhaps all by gays and LGBT people and feminists. Uh, Conservatives would just call them liberals, but liberals are basically LGBT and feminist heavy. So when we look at what what kind of gay, right? You know, Dahmer was gay. There's some professional people that people would describe as gentlemen uh, that work in the tech industry and other industries that people would say are gay. People in the fashion industry, okay? People who are very, you know, they seem nice. They seem friendly and polite enough. And people who own restaurants and so on and so forth. So what is the problem here? Is it because they're gay by itself, or is it because there's a satanic culture that dominates society. It's Satanists, okay? It's people who believe, well, me personally, I think that having more than one sex partner in life is wrong. You should find who your true love early on, so on and so forth. So when you add the element of anal sex, for example, and, you know, if I would stick my dick in a bunch of different chicks' asses, I consider it disgusting. And I think this is a universal principle. So if someone's gay, they say, how do you be gay responsibly? You shouldn't go around and try to fuck everyone in the ass. You know what I'm saying? Kids, old people, you name it. It's disgusting, okay? You know, excuse my French, but this has to be explored because this is very important to what's going on. So gay people who think that they should make everyone gay so they can fuck everyone in the ass on a whim are severely, severely, severely mentally ill. They think they should toss everyone's fucking salad. It's fucking disgusting. I'm sorry I have to bring it up, but I have to bring it up. It is key in what's going on, okay? That's a severe mental illness. There's stories about people eating their own feces in front of a judge or something. In, in, uh, you know, one of them was in a Training Day, okay, uh, the movie. Uh, and he said that's how he was considered insane. It is insane to go around eating people's asses. Let's face it. It is a sign of a, one of the strongest symptoms of mental illness, okay? These people who are doing this, are pedos, they suffer from pedo, pedo disorder, sexual sadism disorder, they suffer from, you know, extreme hyper uh, homosexuality disorder is what I would call it, and it's a satanic disorder, not because they're gay by itself, but certainly the Christians would make a strong argument to that effect, I'm not going to put my opinion in this video to help you under, you know, to remove any barriers to keep you from seeing that I'm right, okay, these people Okay, who are in charge are like Michael Aquino. Okay, they're like Jeffrey Dahmer. They are mass murdering uh, serial killer types. Okay, except for they don't have a cooling off period. Twenty five thousand people starve to death every day in businesses called making a killing. It's thinking, thinking straight versus thinking gay uh, in popular culture. In the Urban Dictionary, for example, they define gay as pointless and stupid. Again, this video is not about bashing homosexuals. It's about helping everyone. Okay. Uh, if gays had their own section in town and they just kind of left people alone and didn't try to turn people out, you know, I, it wouldn't be such a pressing issue to preach to them, for example, because there's bigger problems in the world than people being gay. But when they harass people and organize to terrorize people to try to make white skinned people, whites and Jews seem superior because they're not as good as martial arts as black people. The black people are the top martial arts. It goes back to Africa, right? Black people have been waging war and hand-to-hand -hand combat, you know, intensely before other races even existed, okay? And they kept in that environment where there's a lot of dangerous and poisonous animals in the jungle. Other races didn't have a chance to compete, you know, so they start acting like fucking little girls and sabotage black people. It's fucking stupid, okay? So... The gay guy is like, hey, guys, you guys can't beat them at martial arts. And they have a natural kind of, you know, people naturally revere the alpha martial art warrior who's not a brute, okay, who's wise and on point and so on and so forth. 
okay? In Egypt, they kind of cleaned up, put on nicer clothes, kind of put emphasis on bathing and so on and so forth, became very presentable. And they said, hey, we're all going to get together and cheat them. And that's what's going on here. You know, they've never stopped doing it. They did it in Egypt. They did it uh, to Narmer, the first dynasty family. That's why they're, 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 the second dynasty was from a different family than they were, okay? They never stopped doing it. You look at the Narmer palate, right? He's tall and handsome and, and martial art warrior. Okay, all the components are there, religion, so on and so forth. You know, martial art, king of kings, right? Uh, is different than being a stage performer. Bruce Lee, Donnie Yen, Jackie Chan, uh, Van Damme, Scott Atkins, Steven Seagal. These guys are just performers. They're not royal African falcon, you know, naturally revered by all types, okay? They're badasses at best. They're actors more likely, okay? Same with the cage fighters. They're just brutes. It's not the same thing as being a, the king of all, the king of kings, and the king of all humanity. Striking is a play on words for tries king, and go on and on. Grappled is a play on words for G, the earth deity, the G in Freemasonry. Rape, lead, rape, deal. Okay, scrambled and so on and so forth. Occult cut ups, wordplay, what have you. Okay, gospel, ghost spell, a magic spell, making you, you know, confusing you so betas can rule over you. That's what they do. Hey, it's fucking dumb. It's dumb to describe African, uh, Royal African Falcon uh, martial art kings, warrior kings, uh, as betas. But it, it's obvious that though you look at Europe, King Louis, King George, you know what I'm saying, the, the royals of England right now and France and Europe and so on and so forth, they're obviously betas, okay? They're not alpha warrior, king of kings, wise African types. They're just privileged betas, okay? And these problems have everything to do with what's going on in society. Now, real quickly, just end this by talking about uh, the alpha. The A is the one. Why? Because when things started off, it was one martial artist, one warrior who was better uh, than everyone else in the tribe. And he he demanded respect. He had superior brain function, superior body function. And these people kind of worshipped him as God's son. That's what naturally you're inclined to do. Witches later on decided to kind of team up together in other tribes and cheat him. Because it's one tribe. It's one king who's the king of kings. They didn't want people to see it that way. So they got together, started raping and confusing and poisoning people and so on and so forth. You know, using poison-tipped arrows and all kinds of underhanded, despicable things to gain the upper hand. Eventually the chariots and the armor definitively gave the betas the upper hand and they colonized the world and the rest is history okay so you know all these religions and philosophies their responses to this a bunch of people saying oh i had a dream i had a vision i seen a little girl the other day who's painting things uh on youtube i saw the video uh because i can't watch videos because they mess up my eyes and so on and so forth in my brain to a certain degree um that says, hey, she had visions of god and she's painting it's all bullshit okay there's no, no nobody's ever had a vision from god okay They've had martial artists have connected to God through being using focused moral intensity and righteousness because God is the source of righteousness. It's just like if you fly closer to the sun, you know what I'm saying you could you you you're, you're closer to the sun and whatever you perceive as a result and so on and so forth came as a result of that. There's no magical oh taking place. You though you draw near to God, draw God draws near to you. Okay, you don't have visions. He doesn't give people dreams. That all that stuff is a metaphors in the Bible. It's it's a story with a moral. It's not actually what happened okay